Hello, hello. It's been a while since I've done any Commodore stuff. So I have taken upon my um, responsibility to recap Amiga 600 and CD32. So to prepare for that, I've uh, cleaned up the bench. I have a solder station with that, which I don't think is stable enough in temperature. Well, I can use it, but it's not for me, so I want to be really, really sure. So, so yeah, so I'm really happy with this. It's Debotech. It's a low-cost brand, but this one is uh, factory calibrated. Comes with a really nice stand. It's not one of those flimsy. I have lots of those flimsy. You can see, but they are okay. They also comes in with a nice thin, I must say, nice and thin pen uh, iron. And the tip is 0.5 millimeter. I haven't opened it yet. So let's have a closer look at it. Um, it has this uh, thing here, which I thought this one was going to connect to, but no. Uh, it's not flat top. It has a switch on the back. Uh, well, that's okay. Uh, not my favorite. This is probably a switch mode. Don't know yet. Yeah. China and Sweden. Anyway, so I got some tips for it. We have, you see they are hollow, I was unsure if that's smart, but anyway, because they don't have that mass. Uh, this is a 2mm, it's flat, but it's actually a bit rounded. And this is a uh, same thing, but 4mm, so I have a little bit more oomph. Right. <laughs> And uh, this one was uh, 0.5 millimeter, so I was going to buy that, but the seller said, thankfully, it was great. He said that it was coming with it. So, and this is a wedge. You know, it looks like a knife. So, what I meant by uh, not liking this uh, wedge tip, uh, they are okay for solder braid, but for through all stuff, I really like them to be flat tips instead. And there you can see the 0.5 millimeter in comparison on the tip there. So yeah, so now we can practice a little bit with uh, this board over here. So I have practiced, but uh, not with this iron yet.
I'm happy with that. That's great. Could put the microscope on now, but I didn't because I did practice yesterday and I couldn't get I could get the solder to stick only on the pin and not on the pad at the same time. But now I have really sharp pin here, so so it works great. So I'm just going to play around with uh, the settings on the uh, station. Hold on. So I bought this one. It's uh, kind of narrow actually, but it's this stuff here. And I uh, put one layer on here and you can see it's a bit close to the screen perhaps. Okay. This I think was without. So and here I when I had four layers of them I could drag the solder ions across across there and you can see nothing. Almost nothing has happened. So and here was one layer I think. And then uh, I got some burning when I poked the iron on it with only one layer of this. So, yeah, so when I do the uh, Amiga, hold on, champagne solder suckers. Okay, so this guy on Twitter that I'm following, the future was 8 bit, he is the guy that does the SD2 IAC amongst other things, and he has a blog. And uh, he has a lot of pictures after buying a Amiga 600 on eBay, so I hope it's okay that I use these images. There, Captain Tape, really great, because this is at the audio connectors, and you have two capacitors you need to swap out, and how do you get in between here? <laughs> um, well, if you look at the other pictures, you can see that it actually is some room, but uh, still, they are really near. So I watched another YouTube video, and uh, that guy desoldered this one, so that's like 30 pins. I, I'm thinking, oh my god, it's going to take forever. So no, just uh, whack on some <laughs> tape, blow the hot air through here, it should be fine. So yeah, so and I have the uh, SMD, I have the solder paste and stuff also. So yeah, so I th uh, also experimented with this. So you need more than one layer to protect it all properly. So that's great. So, yeah, we did such a great job, I think. So look at that. That's solder flux uh, anyway. Um, some corrosion, I think. Check this out. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so so when you desolder these, uh, they are very likely to come loose. So that scares me a lot. So well, have to be careful then. Okay, bye bye.